This video will show you how to make a data frame using R. And so I've just titled this Lab Tutorial Making a Data Frame. What I've already done, what I'm looking at, and what I want to make a data frame of are lake levels in Lake Travis. Um, and so I have two variables that I have. Uh, I have the month, uh, January through December, and I have the lake level in feet. And so the first part is the month. I just made um, a a string of values that have the abbreviations for those months using the combined function or the C function. Um, and so I've labeled month as my R object and I've said combine all of these month names. Then I've entered all of the lake levels for those months. Um, and so in January uh, the lake level was 657.24 feet uh, all the way up to December where the lake level was 667.33 feet. Um, and so again, I've called this level uh, when I've used the combine or the C function um, to combine all those values into one string. And I made a note, I put a hashtag uh, that the lake level is in feet in case I was interested in the units. Um, and so I've got the data already entered. I'm going to hit the play button and run those data. And as you can see, uh, in the upper right, it says it added uh, the levels are numeric variable, uh, length 12, that makes sense, uh, and the months are character variables uh, with a length 12, and that makes sense. Uh, and so I've entered the data. Now what I want to do is I want to combine the month and level into a single data frame and name that data frame lake. And so this would be equivalent of if we had an Excel spreadsheet open we had a spreadsheet, a tab of data with two variables, one variable called month and one variable called lake. As it is now, the two variables are separate and they're not combined. And so we can uh, combine them now. So we want to call this lake. So I'm going to put lake and then I want to call this an R object. So I'm going to do an arrow and a hyphen. And you can look and see what the data.frame function does. And you can see RStudio tries to be smart and predict what you will be typing. Uh, and this gives us some information here about the data frame function. So we're going to want to use that. Uh, so data frame, open parentheses. Uh, well, our first variable that we want to add is month. And our second variable is level. And so that will be um, our two variables. And so we can hit the play button to make a new data frame that combines both month and lake level. So we can do that. And you can see that R added a third item uh, into our environment. So now we have lake. Um, and we have, if we make this a bit bigger, we would see that this is a data frame. Um, and you can see one thing that I like to do is if I make a new data set, I'd like to see that data set. Uh, and so one thing you can do is double click uh, on the little spreadsheet looking thing over here. And you can see now this looks like something we might see in Excel. Uh, so we have the month um, variable and we have the level variable. Um, and so we can scroll down. And yep, we see each of those values for each month. And so that opens up as a new tab. And after you look at the data um, to make sure it did what you wanted it to do, you can X out. Another way to check the data um, is to just simply print it. Um, and so we can hit enter uh, to make a new line in our um, R code, and we can just type lake. And so we've made the name, we've made the data frame called lake, and now we just want to print it out into the console. Uh, so we can hit play. And you can see this is just another way of viewing the data. Uh, so in this case, we have the month, we have the level, and it's stored as one um, data frame. So this is just another way to look at the data that you just combined into a data frame. 